New Stars is now for 3.24 passes dropped, plus some new additional updates you might be interested in. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys. So this one, um, for those that don't know, um, this it's a uh, B.24 is now in way two since of last night, uh, since the build went well. Uh, this one, they've added some additional updates. Um, as opposed to just bug fixes as uh, usual but uh, this time around they had some uh, gameplay updates as well so the very first one under um gameplay they've uh they did an update for tractor beams it says here tractor beam use adjustment it says tractor beam use of the multi-tool has had its cargo uh, mass balance to restrict the use to cargo sizes under 32 seu so multi-tools can no longer move 32 SU crates and to reduce the usable distance both handheld tractor beams have had their movement speed reduced so that's interesting um which makes sense this i think this is a good balance they can make the multi-tool do exactly the same thing as the dedicated um tractor beam okay so that makes sense so the next one that they did is item bank ui changes it says based on feedback we determined that the store access flow uh, was not providing the result we wanted we thus changed it to open a filter view of the warehouse inventory to only show fps gear like the storage access kiosk did interesting so the way we've been interacting with the kiosk it is uh i get it, it it's I get what they're trying to do, trying to make everything physicalized, but it did slow us down a little bit in terms of getting our gear. So um, let's see how this this holds uh, with this update here. The next one is cargo haul emission changes. It says greatly increased the cargo haul emission rewards, allowed players to retrieve cargo from shared missions where they aren't the original mission owner, which is good. Uh, they set the haul and intro mission to not be shareable. So everybody has to do it on their own, which makes sense. Um, so they made further updates to ships and vehicles. Um, it says here they removed SDFs and shields from spindles and attached cargo of the hull. C. interesting. So no shields for your cargo. That's that's not good. <laughs> um, interesting. Okay. Um, so Cortec. Okay. So they made further ship debris. Uh, collision physics performance improvements as well as entity count performance polish for Hurston. all right so now there's a few bug fixes for this one hopefully these ones hold they fix an issue where you only one objective is able to be completed at a time and now this is for the cargo missions okay uh, they fix an issue where when uh, stationary in the uh, cargo transfer area the cargo transfer does not happen they fix an issue where players leave their hangers through an approved gateway the server may not recognize they have transitioned from their hangar and causing the global loss of physics and interior zone they fix an issue where you're unable to retrieve any ship at the location after retrieving uh, a previously impounded ship exiting to the menu during retrieval or storing process or taking elevators to spaceport during retrieval this has been on the list for quite some time hopefully this time around it's fixed they fixed an issue where attempt to sell gemstones to the ore deposit terminal will return transaction failed that's a good fix they fixed an issue where asap times out retrieving vehicles following a failed retrieval cycle due to a player walking on a descending landing pad during uh, the vehicle retrieval they fix an issue where the title header when selecting a contract can be cut off incomplete when selecting a contract for the first time after opening your mobile glass they fix an issue uh, where with missions cargo not being recognized as a mission related after a client crash or recovery they also fix an issue where the player can complete the medical rescue beacon when injecting dead player's body with a med pen or paramed gun before it despawned. Interesting. Along with this is 11 
server crash fixes. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and catch you guys on the next one.